everybody. Welcome to Xavier Fox Talks and I am your host Xavier Fox. So when you're really taking that honest look at yourself, you gotta, gotta think about what is it that I can put my finger on that's stopping me from being a better you, from being a better person, for improving the health. Sometimes it's lack of education on the subject. Sometimes it's toxic people that you're involved with. You know, I get tired of going to places and people look at me and say, okay, you in shape. What, what? <laughs> you know, like something wrong with me, you know, nothing's wrong with me, you know, just because I consider my health as an importance and everyone else around me is not considering that to be the situation. So don't make me the outcast Health is number one, because if you don't have your health, you don't really have anything. You have all the money in the world, but you will not enjoy it if you do not have your health. That, that's good. I have a statement that you need to invest in your health, otherwise you're going to be utilizing all your wealth to invest in your health. You know, so you are very, and I think most people will agree, but uh, I think then actions sometimes don't support that, that common wisdom. You know, so identifying your hurdles, and there's two more things. You need to have a realistic and unrealistic goal, long term and short term, and you need to kind of um, put a finger on what your commitment level is going to be. Whether it be a certain time period, you know, if you're saying, hey, I'm going to give myself 12 weeks, or I'm going to give myself a year, or whether I'm going to uh, designate three days out of the week, or even one day out of the week. Give yourself a certain time period of commitment that you're going to, whether you're going to commit to cleansing, whether you're going to commit with changing your diet a certain way. You know, there has to be some sort of commitment that you have to be responsible for to yourself, either to someone else. So that's part of that identify phase. Okay, that's all identify. Well, you and I have talked about me possibly going through this process of the whole detox and stuff. So, as I listen to your identify, what was the first part? Identify what? Let's see if we can take me through this. Well, the health status. My health status is good. I don't have anything wrong with me. I've been into this holistic thing for since I was 18, so I'm all good. No high blood pressure. I'm all good. Okay, okay, and then there's the physical status, uh, the, and that's just the measurements, you know, take, checking out, you know, using a tool like, like this to check out your, your uh, body fat. But we'll do know. that off camera. <laughs> and the scale. Uh, and then also, uh, uh, also you, you say you have no injuries? No injuries. Okay, good, good, good. Uh, no operations, uh, no broken bones in the past or anything like that? Good. No, I have had surgery. I have my oldest daughter. But I don't think that's going to. Okay, but that's good to know. Those are the type of things you want to know um, because sometimes that does have an effect on how your body, how quickly your body develops or not. Oh, well, yeah, I know those lower abs. Oh, my God. Yeah, once, you, once you get the knife on them, To get that kind of blue. Good. And then, you know, my daughter is older. That's how old she is. So she's older. And so that was, you know, I had the surgery back in the day when they didn't do the smiley face. Oh, thing. okay. Yeah, so they cut right through that muscle. Right, so right. That's right. like almost impossible to fix. Mm -hmm. And now we spoke about, I think you may mention your lifestyle. You know, I know you've been doing a lot of shows, a lot of promotion, oh, doing yeah. positive things in the community. Yeah. So I'm pretty sure that keeps you on the go. It keeps me on the go, but it also keeps me in front of the computer doing a lot of editing. Mm -hmm. So, you know. Um, I try and ride my bike, you know, I mean, I'm, I'm active, I've always been active, I've always been athletic from like sixth grade all the way through, um, minus about six years when I was in this horrible relationship, but you know, it's a lifestyle change. <laughs> so, <laughs> but um, yeah, I try and ride my bike or run, I like to run by lake front, and since I live out in the burbs now, there's no lake front, so I haven't been running, but I've been trying to get on the bike in the morning and stuff, but it's, it hasn't been consistent, I haven't even really consistently did at least three days a week yet so you know so then therefore it came to those those transitions in life yeah as you just say you mm -hmm. move to a different location if you embark upon a new mm -hmm. uh, uh, adventure in life mm -hmm. you know so those things we have to look at mm -hmm. um and i think i talked about so yeah, i give you kind of mentioned what the hurdles are you know as far as your work mm -hmm. uh and knowing what they are uh, in, in, in relation to the fitness aspect because the nutritional aspect then you have to look at what those hurdles are to what's inhibiting you uh, for eating your way into good health because that um, can truly take place well, too. Well I've, I've been eating healthy for a long time. Um, recently I kind of slacked up a little bit because um, I started dating someone who has a young kid 
and McDonald's is often mm -hmm. on our stock. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, um, I've had some white bread. I hadn't eaten white bread in forever. And it just feels icky. Right. You know, it's, it just feels icky. Those are, those are some of the hurdles. So yeah. sometimes counterparts, sometimes involved with other people can. So you have to, you know, definitely put your finger on that so that you know what kind of balance you need to make. Uh, and then I think we talked about the desired goals. What will it be your goal? Um, my goal is really just to tone. Um, now, I'm going to break it real quick because that's the, the term is used. And... Uh, I tell people you can't tone the muscle. You can only get the muscle stronger or the muscle is going to be weak. Because uh, in essence, you can lose body fat so the muscle can be seen. And that's actually what I meant. Exactly. I, I want to lose the body fat because I understand the whole thing of the way that the body is made. So the fat is on top of the muscle. So your muscle can be all good under there, but if you still have a layer of fat on it, you can't see it. Exactly. So I want my body to look toned. Yes. You know, um, I'm not big on weight. It doesn't really, my weight doesn't really necessarily matter. As long as I'm in a size eight, eight, eight or ten. In the winter time, a ten is good because you know, in the winter we look at the cold. Our bodies naturally put on a little layer of fat to keep us warm. But that's survival. But in the summertime, I like to be in the eight. And um, right now, I'm kind of in between the two. So I just want to do a little toning, getting rid of some of the body fat. Yeah, that's that's kind of what I'm. All right, all right. And uh, what do you think your commitment level will be? Well, I want to, I'm, I pace myself, so I want to start out at least committed to three days a week. And, you know, I'm big on cardio, so um, anywhere between 30 and 45 minutes of cardio. If I run, if I run, I take it off quick. That's my thing. I love to run, and then within two weeks, I, I can see a difference, you know. Um, well, I'm going to tell you. I also want to do some. You know, the ab squats. You know, well, now I'm going to make sure these are tight. All right, right. So I'm going to definitely, uh, as we get involved with the weeks, we definitely approach this a little bit differently uh, as far as the educational part side because um, a lot of people do focus a lot of attention on cardio. And as you said, that might be the case that the person say, hey, two weeks, they do cardio and they lose weight. But remember earlier, I said, uh, or I will talk about it even later, that the main focus is not the weight loss because you want to make sure you have that lean mass which will increase your metabolism so you never have to have these highs and lows in lifetime so as you progress and as you get older your body's supposed to get better and better and better as far as how it operates if you eat the right things and just stay active this shift is automatically taking place because you look at animals you know none of them have a gym membership none That's of true. them have any equipment That's you true. know but you're not going to run up on the line and say hey you know just because yeah. you're a little bit older right. i think i can take you no right. it's not going to happen right you know so like, the oh, same shit. thing right yeah. same, same thing with yeah. humans we should be in a state that as we get older we're supposed to get better so a lot of things that we've been taught and socialized to do uh even though it might appear to help it wasn't probably the best choice you know, uh, so with that being said, a lot of people invest a lot of time in cardio, and I say, well, that's great, that's good for your heart and lungs, and of course, it's, it's expenditure of energy, so then therefore you can lose weight, but if you lose 10 pounds of muscle, and with that 10 pounds of muscle, you lose 10 pounds of fat, so then therefore you lost 20 pounds in total weight, but you did your body a big disjustice. I don't lose that mass. Exactly. Yeah. And that's what happens with cardio, because you ever notice all the bodybuilders, and not saying that anyone should look like a bodybuilder, but just to use them as an example, you never see them doing a bunch of cardio. But yet, still, they have the lowest body fat. Because muscle burns fat. It utilizes, exactly. So uh, muscle utilizes fat for energy. Mm -hmm. So then, therefore, the stronger you get, then, therefore, the more fat you burn. So you're not a huge necessity advocate of cardio in, in regard to losing weight. Well, not, not for losing strength. weight. Well, I think that, uh, and, and that would be part of our uh, uh, applying or our rectify phase. But yes, to, to kind of say, not that I'm not an I'm a, a advocate of cardiovascular activities for your heart and lungs, but I like sports. I think okay. that a person should be engaged in sports. I'm really not sold on this, let me make some equipment and I 
stay in this one room and I move for 30, 40 minutes right, at right. a time. Yeah. That to me is a little bit I'm not into that unless it's winter know, time. Right. And, the yeah. and I crazy. think somehow we got socialized to think that that's what exercise is all about when it really is not. Right. I mean, they're, they're, it's about movement. It's mm -hmm. about involvement. You know, I think a lot of times that promotes actually people put on weight because they seem isolated. So you're isolated on this machine or on this piece of equipment for this period of time, and yeah, you might have some time to yourself, but yet still it's just you by yourself compared to, like I said, animals. They got other animals to play with, mm -hmm. or if they chase another animal, mm -hmm. you know. Mm -hmm. So, or in sports, you involve in sports with other people, and it's a team sports, and there's a goal, you know, to win, to have fun, you know. So uh, I think a lot of times, uh, we have to rethink about our approach if we really want this to be part of a lifestyle and that we really get the benefit. So that takes us right next to the next phase of rectify. Which is? So one of the main things that I have done is put together a, uh, uh, that I uh, have implemented at least, is a nutritional program. Okay. Uh, so I've just completed a 28 day cleansing program um, my 28-day program includes teas, um, natural well, is that, herbs. Is that the stuff in there? Well, actually it is. Can you show us some of it? Well, I can't. Can tell can. us what it does. Well, I don't want to get too involved with it because I do have a website. Definitely people can come and check it out. Uh, that's at SherwoodAgrant.com uh, and SimpleAndGood.net. Uh, and you can get a, a, a good idea of what's involved in the program. It contains my first book that I've written. Okay. And, yeah. and the book in itself. Uh, the Simple and Good Educational Cleansing Program. And um, it's in a calendar form because the biggest highlight of the book, besides highlighting the products that's in the uh, box here and educating about the soap? body, that is. So we have to use a certain kind of soap? Um, I, I would suggest. I One of the main things I was going to say before you start looking at asking a lot of questions <laughs> <laughs> is that there's a 28 day uh, eating regimen. Okay. Recipes, you know, so you have like your day one, your day two, your day three. Now, do I actually days. get to eat food on this? Oh, or definitely. Am I just drinking stuff? Oh, uh, no, no, you're definitely eating food, and that's um, the website doesn't have my food uh, photos of the gallery of foods, but it will, and it will have actually a video of the chef. A beauty a salad? Food. I can tell a beauty exactly. salad? Exactly. So, so let's say for day one, just to give you an idea, you start the day with your ginger tea. Uh, you use an essential enzyme that's part of the program to help to digest the food. Uh, you have a breakfast cereal, heritage heirloom. I, I really like that cereal because it has some um, ancient grains like spelt and quinoa and millet. These are grains of old that's been around for a thousand years that most people never heard of them. Yeah, so, they are great. So you Where have would that. I find that? Oh, you can get that cereal easily at uh, Trader Joe's, at Whole Foods. Oh, okay. Uh, okay. As a matter of fact, uh, I, My favorite stores. I went to Costco and bought. They can have another uh, brand, here to Um uh, so you can get it somewhere anywhere. Okay. Um, then you have like, uh, and you have that almond milk because uh, the program does not use dairy okay. at all for the 28 days. Dairy, and and quietly but surely eliminates meat also. Oh no. Days. No but, meat. But for 28 days, to, in order for that digestive system to work properly to heal the body. Believe you me, you won't miss it. <laughs> no steak. No salmon. I can't have a salmon. No, anything that has that has. What about my omega fatty threes and stuff? Oh well, now we'll be able to get a lot of those nutritional uh, um, nutritional foods in the system, so you won't be lacking nutrition wise at all. But don't think that only dead sources of animals can provide the nutrition that you need because that's not how we were developed, that's not how we were built, that's not how we were created. So I think we need to at least for 28 days for a cleanse, easy and, and well worth it. You know, okay. I, 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 I believe I can do anything for 28 days. Exactly, 28 days. So like I would say, so almond the milk. cereal with the almond milk, then you have a snack, uh, almonds and raisins with the red, red raspberry leaf tea, uh, and then you have a beauty salad which you make your own tomato cucumber dressing. There's a recipe for that. Okay, and I don't then, like cucumbers though. But as a dressing, 
you'd be surprised at the flavor. So you don't necessarily have to put it in your, in your food. But once again, one of the things I urge people to do is for 28 days, take in the nutrients. Because sometimes we've been away from it or we've been exposed to a lot of depleted type of... Foxy, Foxy, I see you. And you can tell everybody what you want to be called by. Xavier Fox here, still on the red carpet, representing X.